Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James. Now a few years ago I made a video covering all of the known easter eggs for Terraria at the time and since then a few more have been discovered that I've not actually talked about. So today as a little treat I thought I'd compile all of the known Terraria easter eggs and where to find them. Just as a side note though, easter eggs are things that are hidden that you have to find and references are items that are added in reference to something else. So if you're wondering why items such as the Keyblade or the Plumber's Outfit aren't on the list, it's because they fall under references and not easter eggs. So with that out of the way, let's begin. One. Now our first easter egg is a classic and a really easy one to find. When on the loading screen for Terraria you can click and drag the sun around and even the moon. This is by far the most well known one and the easiest to do. Two. As some of you may know, Terraria Mobile and Console Editions each come paired with a tutorial world that teaches you the basics of the game, from chopping down trees to killing your first enemy. And much like Minecraft, the world they've created has a few little secrets for those who stay past the tutorial. You can either decide to dig down and find this little chest, which is man-made but serves to show the player what can be found, or even further down there is this man-made mini dungeon with monsters and loot. Three. Now this easter egg is definitely one that startles people if they've yet to experience it. When around ducks or mallards for a certain amount of time, they have the chance to give a rather loud human quack noise as opposed to their usual quacking sound. Now I did ask Senex on the charity stream we did a few months ago who did the voice and I'm pleased to say it was... Well, we don't actually know. Um, they don't actually remember, so I guess that this easter egg will stay hidden. Four. Now this one is a really unique easter egg and one of the hardest ones to find but it involves the last prism. Now depending on the name of your character you can actually have a different coloured last prism. Now the name selection is based on the beta testers of Terraria and each has their own custom colour. For a full list of the names and what colours they are check out my previous video on that. Five. Now this one was discovered a while back when the revamped Terraria.org website was released and it's actually super simple to do. All you have to do is press up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, enter to activate the secret Konami slime wave. They endlessly come and attack your screen until you move onto the next page. Six. Now this one was classified as an easter egg and I'll include it again since the information has changed since I last talked about it. But essentially back in the day you could hack in the armour of the developers and if you wore it you'd be given every debuff in the game and it would kill you within seconds. However since 1.3 is released you can actually get a random set of developers armours in expert mode boss drops and you can wear them without issue. I don't know if it still classifies as an easter egg now but it's still pretty cool. Seven. Now this one is definitely my favourite and it links back to an old avatar that Demilogic used to use on the Terraria forums where his character would wear a green cap. Now for this easter egg you need to have a guy named Andrew which is the creator of Terraria then all you do is viciously murder him and you'll receive his green hat. Eight. Now this easter egg is impossible to recreate, but on April 1st 2015 if you went to the about section on Terraria Mobile Edition it would give you a long passage of text which goes along the lines of, on April 25th I will be releasing a sword to the public, this involves a cat, and a new boss, and then it asks the player to keep waiting and eventually it will tell you it's an April Fool joke. Now this one hit me out of nowhere and hasn't been talked about since but it's a really cool one and a really bizarre April Fool's joke. So that's it for all the easter eggs we know of so far, now PC update 1.3.1 is fast approaching and with it may come even more, so I'll be sure to keep you updated if more are discovered. So that's about it for today's video, if you're not done binge watching Terraria, why not check out this top 5 list I did on movie references, it's a really fun list if you're into hidden references. And while you're at it, why not click that subscribe button? By clicking that button you'll be the first to see the latest Terraria videos as soon as they are released. Thank you all for watching, my name is James. Peace.